So, I wanted to share something with you guys. I want to get vulnerable on social media. I don't know if it's um, if I can do this, but I'm going to do it because it might heal somebody. My story might heal somebody, you know? I used to, and I've healed from it. I'm over it, but I want to just share it so maybe somebody could learn from it, you know? So, um, I used to date a guy in my late 20s. And I thought he was my soulmate, but he was um, not my soulmate, but I thought he was. Because as soon as we met, we clicked. And I loved him, you know? And we were going to get married, and we didn't. Because he decided to choose somebody else besides me, which is fine. But the girl he chose besides me, she fucked him over. That's karma. After 20 years, between those 20 years, she cheated on him. She had kids with his best friend. And he didn't choose me. Here's another reason. He didn't choose me because I wasn't Indian enough for him. I'm Indian. I think. I don't even know. I was adopted. But my parents raised me, you know, and they were Indian. But I was raised in America. I came to America when I was two years old. So, it, it, um, English is my first language. I don't even understand Hindi that well. I do now, though, but back in the day, you know? So, mm-hmm. So, he chose her, which is fine. But he, which he did me a favor, because uh, this is what I'm trying to say. Rejection is protection. If somebody has rejected you, it's okay. That's fucking protection by God. And at that time, I was so heartbroken. I didn't know what to do. I was just literally heartbroken. I was just like, like you don't even know. Mm -hmm. So, and I was embarrassed because I was telling everybody I'm getting married, blah, blah, blah. And then it didn't happen. And it was just a very sad part of my life. But I'm sharing this so I can maybe heal somebody. Rejection is protection by God. Mm -hmm. And here's the crazy thing. On his wedding night day, uh, he calls me, him and his wife, his wife calls me, his wife, which I've never met, calls me on my cell phone saying he wants to talk to you. He's losing it. I'm like, why the fuck are you calling me? Like, who the fuck is this? Some crazy shit, man. Anyways, Carmen's a bitch. And um, now he's still suffering. Because he was a karmic. You got a karmic? You better get rid of him. <laughs> oh, ow. Um, you got a karmic. He's a karmic. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to start going laughing like crazy now. But anyways, um, yeah. So that's what he did to me. And he broke my heart. But he actually helped me be the person who I am today. So thank you if you're watching. You know who you are, Mr. California. 